the body temperatures of a group of healthy adults have a bell-shaped distribution with a mean of 98.08 and a standard deviation of 0.67. Using the empirical rule, find each approximate percentage below. Okay, let's talk about the empirical rule. And there are a lot of really nice pictures out there. This is not one of them. Here's the mean. Here's one standard deviation above and below. Here's two standard deviations away from the mean. Okay, the empirical rule is 68% of your data points if it's a standard normal curve. Okay, it's symmetrical around the mean. 68% of your data points should fall within one standard deviation of the mean. 95% of your data points should fall within two standard deviations of the mean. Now, if we go out three standard deviations, 99.7% of your data points should fall within three standard deviations of the mean. Now, let's talk about rule of thumb. Traditionally, the rule of thumb is defined as the range divided by four. So if we're talking about the range divided by four, we are talking about 95% of the data, and we've excluded 5%. We've excluded kind of those outliers. That's why one of those videos says range divided by six, which means we've included, we've only excluded 0.3%. But even though divided by six is more accurate, it is generally assumed that we do range divided by four for the standard rule of thumb. So that's going to get us pretty close to the standard deviation, taking the range and dividing it by four, even though it bothers some people. There are, okay, 68, 95, 99.7. That is the empirical rule. So now the body temperatures of a group of healthy adults have a bell-shaped distribution, i.e. normal, with a mean of 98.8 and a standard deviation of 0.67. Use the empirical rule to find the approximate percentage. So now is the first time we're asking what percentage. What is the approximate percentage of healthy adults with body temperatures with three standard deviations of the mean or between 96.07 and 100.09. So let's take the mean minus three standard deviations, which would be 98.08 minus 3.67s, and what are we going to get? 98.08 minus 3 times 0.67, we got 96.07. So they kind of already told you. So 96.07, but it's good to check it out, is three standard deviations below the mean. And 98.08 plus three standard deviations is going to give us, if we type that into our calculator, 100.09. So we've concluded, well, we've verified that these are three standard deviations away. So now we need the percent. So what percentage of healthy adults will be within 96.07? and 100.09. And we've verified that it's three standard deviations away. 
Well, three standard deviations away, it says use the empirical rule. So three standard deviations away, there's my percentage. So we say 99.7% of healthy adults in this group have body temperatures within three standard deviations of the mean or between 96.07 and 100.09. Does every single healthy adult have a temperature of 98.3? No, there are going to be some healthy adults that are way out on those range, on that range, they could have 96.07. Now, very, very few, it's possible.